To what extent do you believe that discourse with moderate Muslims can lead to reform of the ideology such that the gap between Islamic and Western beliefs can be bridged? Well, I guess we're going to find out about that because that's one of the things I want to do over the next couple of years. Um, as far as I can tell, there's only three states of being. There is tyranny, there's slavery, and there's negotiation. And, you know, tyranny, tyranny and slavery are forms of war. So we either enter into discourse, and hopefully with the moderate Muslims, or we're the tyrants, or they're the tyrants, and we're the slaves, or they're the slaves, and then there's war. And so we bloody well better have discourse, because war is what happens when discourse fails. And, you know, we actually, in some ways, we can't really go to war anymore, because we're so armed. And increasingly, that's also the case in the Muslim world. I mean, look at Pakistan. It's, it's developing a pretty decent nuclear arm, armament, a nuclear uh, uh, deterrent, let's say, which is quite terrifying because Pakistan is one unstable and dangerous place. But, I mean, what are you going to do? You're going to go to war with people who have hydrogen bombs? It's like, that's not going to work out very well. So we bloody well better learn to talk. And so I'm hoping, you know, I'm doing this biblical series, which some of you may be know about but in parallel with that I'm doing I want to do a very long series of discussions with moderate Muslims theological philosophical political practical to see if the gap between Islamic and Western beliefs can be bridged I'd better be able to be bridged because we're on the same planet man and there's lots of both of us so um, capitulation on either side isn't going to work and and like blind ignorance of the of the dangers, mutual dangers that our societies pose to one another. I mean, to the degree that Islam Islamic societies are functional traditional societies. They're threatened in that functional traditionalism by radical Western technological and philosophical revolution, just like we're threatened as Westerners ourselves by our own technological and... philosophical, revolutionary nature. Um, discourse, truthful discourse, man. That's, that's the hope for the salvation of the world. <laughs> Thank you.
and so hopefully we'll put it into practice. I've I've met a number of moderate Muslims already in Canada who are extremely interested in this sort of thing, and some in the U.S. as well. And so I think that, well, you know, it's worth a try, man. So.